I first met General Dunford uh, in around 1990. Uh, I'm a graduate of the College of the Holy Cross, and uh, I go up there occasionally to talk to the midshipmen and the students. And uh, I was up for a golf uh, um, fundraiser up there, and I walked into the ROTC spaces up there, and I met this young Marine uh, major. Uh, looked like he just stepped off a recruiting poster, and it turned out to be Joe Dunford. I said, I introduced myself. He said, yeah, I know who you are. You went to BC High like I did. So we became, uh, we bonded and became friends after that. I know a lot of people that have worked with him as part of his uh, uh, second battalion, six Marines, uh, the fifth Marine Regiment in Iraq, when he, he led the Marine forces in, in 2003. And he was there every step of the way. He had their back. Uh, he set the example of uh, courage, of uh, fortitude, of uh, dignity, uh, and respect. And he treated everybody with the utmost respect. When one of his Marines or sailors uh, is injured or, or dies in battle, uh, General Dunford takes the time to sit down. To, if he didn't know that person personally, he, he'd, he'd, he'd learn about that person and put that in a letter, handwritten letter to the next of kin of uh, of this fallen person and uh, tell him not only what a great Marine he was, but how much he'd be missed and how, much, how important that young man or woman was to the mission. When he uh, was nominated by President Obama to be um, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, which is a pretty big deal, uh, all the Marine websites said, Ura, Ura, Joe, and he never even put it on his uh, Facebook account or his Twitter account. It's the kind of guy he is, self-effacing, uh, humble, uh, one of the guys, really. I was a recipient of this award uh, two or three years ago, and uh, so I'm very, very proud of that. And I'm just uh, very delighted that BC High chose to honor General Dunford in this way. It's the highest award that BC High can give, and there's nobody more deserving than uh, General Dunford to receive it. Well, I, I would say to anybody graduating this year or in the audience today that uh, you know you don't have to. Uh, uh, be wearing a uniform or uh, be a, uh, in public safety or anything to, uh, to do the right thing, to help somebody else, to be a hero to somebody else. My name is Tom Kelly, I'm class of Boston College High, class of 56, uh, and I'm very, very proud as a former recipient of the St. Ignatius Award to be honored to be representing General Dunford today as he receives that very, very prestigious award. Go forth and chase your dreams without forgetting the cardinal direction that you established while you're here at BC High. Regardless of where life takes you, commit to selfless service, to being part of something that's bigger than yourself. Have the moral courage to stand up for what's right and just. Take the time in your daily life to serve in a way that matters, in a way that means something to you. In the end, perhaps inspired less by the specific actions of Father Belcher, Father Hicks, Father Mahoney, Brian McPhillips, or Tom Kelly, but more by their spirit, be a man for others. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for the privilege of joining you today uh, for the class of 16. God bless you all in your future endeavors, AMDG and Semper Fidelis.